The Senate has urged the government of the United Kingdom to grant former Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwere Madu and his wife Beatrice clemency. The resolution of the Senate followed a motion on the matter at Wednesday's plenary moved by Senator Chukuka Utazi. Senator Utazi pleaded for support from the Senate to urge the United Kingdom government to grant the former Deputy Senate President Iku Ekwere Madu and wife Padden as they are first-time offenders. The Senate President Ahmed Lawan on his part appealed to the judicial authorities of the United Kingdom to tamper justice with mercy considering the relationship between Nigeria and the British government as well as the input of the former Deputy Senate President in the development of parliamentary issues in ECOWAS. The final sentence on the organ harvest allegation case comes up on Friday, May 5th, in the United Kingdom. An account of the good standing of Senator Ike Kuremado as, a, as his former Deputy Senate President for 12 years running, and as the speaker, as the former speaker of ECOWAS Parliament, and considering the enormous contributions he did make in the development of democracy in Nigeria, West Africa, and beyond. Whereas the, the, this uh, countries were first offenders and do not have any previous criminal records, and considering that the Kuramadu was ignorant, was, that seeking out kidney donors was a crime in the United Kingdom, even applied to the British High Commission in Abuja for a grant of travel visa to the alleged donor, clearly stating in writing the purpose for the uh, travel visa. Let me conclude by seeking uh, temporary justice with mercy uh, by, our, by the British uh, uh, judicial authorities that when it comes to the sentencing, it should be considered that this is the first time ever that um, uh, the Sungu Senator Ikwara Madu will be facing this kind of uh, situation. And um, this is also should be seen in the light of the relationship between our parliaments, uh, our governments, and our nations. Uh, we, we promise that we will always uh, make uh, ourselves um, uh, law abiding whether outside, inside our country or outside our country. But this particular issue to us is a major diplomatic issue as well.